welcome back to another episode of Dr. B Plays SCP Containment Breach. Don't mind me, I'm just adjusting the brightness. I don't think it really matters though. Last time we found this place with the with the with the warhead silo. And Radical Larry keeps coming out and chasing us. But I still think that there's something important in there. So I'm gonna try to run in, grab everything I can, maybe flip these switches, um, and then run out. Now he should pop up soon. Yep, I can hear him coming. He is very difficult to escape from, especially considering he walks through walls. How do I close the door? How do I close the door? Where is the button to close the door? Why is there no button to close the door? Make him close the door! Close the door! Close the door! How do I close the door? Why is this button gone? There should be a button to close the door! Why can't I close the door? Stop! Get away from me! No! No! Back off! Back to hell! Back to hell up! Damn it! Alright, well I guess we're in the Larry realm. The Larry zone, as it were. I really, really don't like this place. Oh, it's so difficult to get out of. I got out of it once, like the first time I was in here. Purely luck. There is no pattern, there is nothing. It's just random and hope. I can't tell... It's all blurry. Am I okay? I'm scared to walk forward. Oh, and then there's this. It's a fake, it's a fake exit. So you think you're free, right? And then you're in the Larry Zone. What's worse, you're in the Larry Zone where the freaking bricks come flying at you. And they're like impossible to actually know that you can predict them pretty well. But they're still pretty difficult. And you have to run and hope you don't get hit by bricks because if you get hit by bricks, then you're dead. And you don't want to be dead. Okay. But if I can manage to make it past the Larry zone, that was too close. And into that exit, last time I was like seconds away from the exit, and then got killed. This time I'm going to be more patient. And wait for the brick to... Yes, and now I'm going to run. Run really fast. As fast as you can go in the Larry zone. Please let me be out. No, I'm just back here. Damn it! I hate this place. I mean, it's good in concept, and it's scary, but it's so fucking annoying. How the hell do I get out? Larry, you need to make a map of your hellhole so that people can be like, hey, you are here. I just walked out the other end. That is bullshit. Maybe there is a defining factor. And I just don't know of it. Um, I don't see any differences in the doors. Anything like that. So I can't think of anything that might, uh... Might make it different. <clears throat> but maybe there is one. This place again, this is the fake zone. I think it's a fake zone. It might be real. Holy crap, it might be. I can't tell. Is this... Is this real? Oh! What the hell? What's that noise? What's that noise? Oh, shit. G get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. He's after me again. That is such bullshit. Don't... Do, do, door! Don't close on me, door! This really didn't help, because he can walk through walls, so it doesn't really help much. I don't know why I'm so slow. Wait, can he walk through walls? Or is this a different thing? I can't really tell. And I hear Cinderblock Man too. Whoa. The music stopped. And I don't hear Cinderblock Man either. I think I'm finally free. Can I check my inventory? Um. Oh, I got a ballistic vest now. Uh, but it encumbers me, so I'm gonna take it off. Sit. And this note. What's that do? No organic matters? Okay, that's not really important right now. Uh, oh, hey, a map! We're there. With the warheads. Um, I'm gonna save and quit real quick, because I have done that like three times now. And it's really a pain in the ass. I do apologize for the loading screen, however. 
I'd pause it and continue, but again, sometimes there's an audio lag. Um, okay, I did it, and hopefully there's going to be no lag, and we just... Okay. I don't know why our head still bounces left and right. I don't remember it doing that before, but I'm not really going to complain too much. I'm just happy to be out of Larry's world. Um, maybe it can be cured by this pill. Hey, it can! I feel better! Awesome! That pill is a cure-all, by the way. We have, like, 46 of them. Something like that. I lost track. I probably took one or two before, so I'm going to say roughly 38. Um, can we go here? Oh, oh, beeping. Right, right. This place is ungoable. Shit. Can we... I know the freaking guy is in there. He gets around through the vents, and I don't understand that. But... Shut up. Shit, he's chasing me. The cinder block man. And I am just going in circles, because I recognize that body. That, or they've been dragging the same body to separate areas just to screw with me. What the hell is that? There's nothing in the cage. I don't get why this room is here. Maybe it's because I just don't know about the SCP. Maybe he's an invisible monster or something. But I don't really understand. What's that? What did I pick up? SCP-302. Contained in cell 5x4x2, by by lined with reinforced pick glass, and blooded. In each of the four walls of the cell will be one infrared motion detector. An alert will be sounded, and all personnel should watch for any bleep flickering movements in the corner of their eyes, and to report immediately if one side. That's scary. Alright, so basically it's just a horrifying thing that will probably stalk us and kill us. Quite refreshing. What's that noise? Oh, it's this. This thing... This is a liquid pipe, by the way. It makes liquid noises. Liquid noises are... sound wet. There's not really much I have to say about that. Um, we can grab these batteries. I swear I already grabbed them. I grabbed one. We can grab this... I, I need the gas mask. But I do not need these documents. As useful as they are, I do not... I mean, the only, you read them once, and they're interesting tidbits about the game, but they're not absolutely necessary. So I'm just going to leave these here. Okay. By the way, I found out how to drop stuff. Um, in case you did not know that I know that. Now you know that I know. My stamina feels impeded. Ja, that liquid noises. They get to me, man. I'm not a fan of liquids. I love liquids, actually. But just because you love something doesn't mean you're a fan. Okay. I'll close this door. Um... I'm really, really lost, because I've done all this shit before, but I still don't know where to go. Can we go here? We've been here, we've been there, and I know we've been down here, and I just don't know where it leads to. Okay, okay, we're good. Oh, shut! John, stop the beeping with the beeping! don't like beeping! You know I don't like beep. We've done the fusion engine already. Actually, I want to pimp out my gear. Open this shit up. We're going to pimp out my uh, gas mask. This is pimp my gas mask with Dr. B. Alright. Now we're going to make it very fine, like my ass. Start that process. Um, I don't see anything of use on the self. We just went around in a circle. This episode was useless. 
Well, not useless, because I got some cool stuff. And it's still just a gas mask, alright. A gas mask on very fine is a gas mask. We have learned something amazing today. I hope you all enjoyed, and we will attempt to do the same thing next time. Thank you for watching.